In this video, we shall talk about the four forces that act on any aircraft. Thrust, lift, drag and weight. Here I shall be explaining it to you in context of quadcopters, which are a type of multi-rotor drones. My quadcopter is facing towards the top of the board and this is a top view. The upward forces generated by the rotation of the propellers is called thrust. These arrows from the blades signify thrust. Since this is a top view and our drone is facing towards the top of the board, the motors are named as such 1, 2, 3 and 4. When the thrust generated by all these motors equally is greater than the weight of the drones, it causes lift. Here's my quadcopter again, facing the top of the board, hence 1, 2 and 3, 4 are in this order. The motors 1 and 2 rotate counterclockwise and 3 and 4 rotate clockwise. Let's understand why. I'm sure everybody has heard of Newton's third law of motion, which states every action has an equal and opposite reaction. all the rotors were moving counterclockwise, the opposite action on the body of the drone would cause it to spin clockwise. This force is called torque. Hence, to balance the torque out, for stability, rotors 3 and 4 Here is my quadcopter from a side view angle. This time it's facing left. Because it's facing towards the left of the board, we shall name the rotors as 1, 2, 3 and 4 in this order. The arrows denote the thrust and when all the thrusts are equal and collectively equal to the weight of the drone, the drone hovers or stays in one place. This is my quadcopter from an oblique angle. Drones can move on these three axes. Rotation on this axis is called yaw. Rotation on the axis that goes along its width is called pitch. And rotation on the axis that goes along the length of the drone is called roll. Here's a side view of my drone again, facing the left side of the board. When the thrust generated by the rear two motors, which are two and four, is more than the front two motors, which is one and three, it causes the rear to lift up higher than the front. This movement is called pitch and enables us to move the drone forwards or backwards. Here is my quadcopter from a top view again. It's facing the top of the board. 
when the thrust generated by the left two motors, which are two and three, is higher than the right two motors, which is one and four. It rotates around the axis of its length and tilts towards its right. This movement is called roll. It helps us move the drone left or right. Here's a top view of my quadcopter again. It's facing the top of the board. As we know, rotors 1 and 2 move counterclockwise and 3 and 4 move clockwise. Currently they are moving at the same speed, hence generating equal thrust. But if we move the first and the second motor faster, they increase the thrust on the drone. When the thrust increases, their torque increases as well. The clockwise torque results in getting higher than the counterclockwise torque and makes the drone move along its perpendicular axis. It rotates around its center and this motion is called yaw. This helps us in changing direction of the forward of the drone. Here is an example of these movements. The drone is facing towards me in the video. These are one, two and three, four motors. When the drone moves along the axis of its width, it moves forward and backward. This is called pitch. When it moves along the axis of its length, it moves left and right. This is called roll. And when it moves along the axis perpendicular to the ground, it is called yaw. Thank you.